back. Um, folks, this next tune was written, uh, I was inspired as I, I read about, uh, I'm sure most of you who lived in this area remember the Kingston coal ash spill back in 2008. And been a lot of articles recently by Jamie Satterfield and Knox News, but, um, and it caught my attention that the, uh, the workers who were involved in responding to that incident are still uh, struggling. And um, we, we need to not forget what happened. And coal ash is a very dangerous, a very toxic product. And uh, Tennessee, the Appalachian region, and really the whole country is um, looking very seriously at what we've created in the process of creating a, a beautiful, uh, comfortable world, um, <coughs> we neglected to realize the consequences of that. And I have met some of the most resilient people in the process of, of, uh, of learning about coal ash and the, the, the Kingston coal ash first responders uh, struggle because there was a lot of money spent and a lot of energy spent to deal with what was the largest environmental spill in our nation. And these folks uh, were, were not given the information they needed and they're, they're suffering serious medical consequences. So I'm gonna tell the rest of the story in the song. I hope you will read up on this issue, get aware of what's happening in our backyard. And, um, but I want to send this one out to uh, Ron and Ansel and Julie and Jane and all the other folks who've been teaching me and inspiring me. It happened right before Christmas. Bye. Said about one in the morning, the pond walls started to break. The ponds were filled with coal ash, owned by the TVA. The world's biggest spill of coal ash happened in Kingston. Workers were 
force to comply to the rules. No mask and no safety gear. Seems Jacob's tampered with testing. They threatened and they deceived. Survivors are sick and they're waiting for justice. Some are just struggling to breathe. Now what does that tell you, boys? What does that tell you, boys? The almighty dollar means more than a life and the pain arsenic and lead in the air. They ignored complaints from the workers and now they're sick and they won't treat them fair. Jacobs knew it was poison but they turned a blind eye to it all. TVA would agree to pay legal fees for Jacobs they took a fall. So what does that tell you boys? What does that tell you boys? The almighty dollar and the company greed keeps them stalling the workers so they can't get the care that East Tennessee to the Mississippi, that poison's in your backyard too. Gallatin, Bull Run, and Allen, you've seen what happened here. And the water you drink from your kitchen sink may someday be something to fear. Workers are sick from the coal ash. Oh, just.